this came in the mail today. I'm so excited. I ordered this cart offline from Walmart.com. You guys, I got a really good deal just in case somebody out there would want to use a Gorilla cart. Um, it was about $124 free shipping and it came within a week. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. I had checked on Amazon and theirs was a little more expensive. So I searched the internet and I found this one at walmart.com. So I'm gonna try to get this put together and test it out. Here are the pieces that are laid out. These um, are the removable sides right here and then this would be the base of it. You guys, these um, tires are not plastic they are like you know rubber tires if you can see because you know some things come and they have these plastic tires on them I don't like that that's why I chose this cart I wanted more of a a, a, a better tire um, and then there's the parts so I think it'll be an easy setup when I saw this I kind of was like Ugh. Who else dislikes? <laughs> I really just want things to snap in place. <laughs> but if it snapped in place, it might snap off. So um, I guess that's a good thing. Also, you guys, I just noticed this. Um, step one, step two, step three, step four. This is so convenient. The diagram clearly shows this and these and it also shows the holes so I'm gonna line up the holes so I flipped it around um, and I'm matching the holes with the diagram to make sure that I'm doing the right side this is a little tricky getting these <laughs> on here they feel weird it feels weird to put them on that way but they are bent and the holes should line up Okay guys, you are gonna need a couple tools, so I went and got these. Um, not necessarily this big, but um, it's really gonna help to hold this under here so that it's got a tight fit because I was trying to do it with my fingers and it wasn't working very well. But with this, it'll hold that bolt down underneath and I can get it on there. Let me go ahead and put the other one on and we'll make sure this has a snug fit. Okay, that looks pretty sturdy. I'll give it a, a one more check over after I put these braces on. Here, a little washer. Right? Was it supposed to do that? That's not going to go all the way down, is it? Okay. Let's look at the diagram. Yeah. Oh, it does go underneath. Oh my gosh, you guys. I had it right. <laughs> Here we go.
There we go. Okay. Now we're rolling. I'm gonna hold it with this. Tighten my bolt down. Finally, you guys, this is on. I'm gonna flip it around and we're gonna move to step two. And we're gonna put the little handle piece on. So apparently, guys, all we're gonna need for step two is this. Okay, I'm not really sure where that's gonna go, but let's find out. Okay, I figured it out. It's so simple. We place that there, that there, and then this is the pin that goes, wait, there's supposed to be a washer somewhere. Okay, the washer actually should go between these. And then the pin, just like that. Or, <laughs> Well, I thought that was just going to slip in there. What? Oh. It shows to bend it up. I guess I'm supposed to bend that piece up. Okay, I got to find another tool. Is that what you see? Yeah, animals got a hold of this. Um, It looks like I'm supposed to bend it up. So... I'm going to use this little doodad to bend it. Somehow, the dog is chewing on my shoe. There we go. i got to get your little pin under there. Somehow. I don't... Excuse you. I don't think it should be this hard. You guys are probably yelling at me right now. You're probably yelling at me because I'm not doing it right. The last thing I want to do is actually tear this up. But I want it to be correct because, uh oh, this isn't that easy. I want it to be correct because I'm going to pull my grandkids in it, so I have to make sure it's right. It did show to bend it up or bend it around. That's what I'm trying to do. All right. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. And you just, I, mean, I guess, bend it around. So that the pin don't come out, which is so crazy. I've never seen a pin like this before. That is so crazy, y'all. I'm trying to clamp it. Clamp it to it. I guess like this. I mean, it's in there. It's not coming out. All right, I'm going to leave it. Okay, this is step three. So we're going to actually attach it now. Which was, uh, I thought we were doing that before, but not. And then here's all the pieces that we need for step three. So basically, you guys, you just line the holes up like this and like this. And then you attach your bolts. So that's what I'm going to do off camera. And then I'll come back and I'll show you guys the progress. I actually moved to this table because it's easier on the back. So I've had a little bit of trouble. It's taken me longer than I like. Um, I had to use this crescent wrench and I'm still tightening this bolt and I've had to just keep it adjusted and turn a little bit at a time. You, I haven't figured out how. You can't just screw these on. Like you have to use the bolt. And if you have the right tools, this would totally be um, easy. But I'm using this huge crescent wrench <laughs> trying to get in this little space. And as you can see, I'm having to turn it a little bit at a time. 
until it's tight. Uh, I'm almost there, but anyway. So, if I have any tips so far, there we go. Grab all your tools first. <laughs> Everything you're going to need. You're going to need some type of a crescent wrench, probably something smaller than this, a screwdriver, and you're going to need these pliers for the pin. Um, it'll tell you on the instructions everything that you're going to need. Okay, now that that's on, we can now go to step four. And it looks like step four is the wheels. So there's everything I'm going to need for step four. And I'm going to go grab the wheels and we'll get started. Okay, I'm going to show you guys a better look. <laughs> I flipped it on its side. So this little piece goes on. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. Look, okay, let's, let's retake. This thing that looks like a ring goes on. And then your wheel will just slip on. And then this piece, this washer we will go right there and grab this pin that I just, if I could change something, I would change this. I would rather have the kind that just slips on and clips around. This is kind of a pain. This is a big pain because now you're going to have to try to use your pliers and uh, pull it up and around and this is the part that I just, if I could complain, <laughs> I'm going to complain, Gorilla, Gorilla Carts, don't do this, change this. I could write a review, I may do that, because I, maybe I'm not doing it right, but you got to kind of grab it and then pull it around, and then I try to clamp it. Somehow clamp it. Clamp it. <laughs> clamp it. That's hard. And that may work, but again, if I'm going to have my grandbabies in this thing, I don't want nothing to come apart. Okay. It's clamped. I mean, it's not coming out. So that's what that should look like. I'm gonna do the other three and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I got the wheels on, I got the wheels on. Step five is the handle, I think. So we will be putting the handle on um, and then I'll figure out about the sides because it has, uh, the sides are removable, which I think is really cool. Yeah, we hear you. Anyway, I'm gonna get the handle put on. The handle's on. So this is what the instructions say about the sides. So I'm just gonna see how they flip on or clip on. Um, it must, they must go in this right here on the sides. So there's little spaces that they must attach to. So let's see if we can do this. Super easy guys super easy I was making it hard these little pieces just slip in there well you're supposed to slip in there and like that okay these are a little tricky <laughs> it took me a little bit to figure it out before I could show you guys uh, basically the same principle these little things right here are gonna go down in the little holes in the bottom. And then what's cool is, which or was tricky for me, is you've gotta put this here and then you can lock it in like that. There we have it folks, the Gorilla Cart. 
Okay, upon initial impression, I like the rubber wheels. I do, I do. It's a little bit flimsy. So, I talk about putting my grandkids in here because it's supposed to hold like 400 pounds. Um, what concerns me is the sides. Um, I, and there's not really... Guys, there's not really a lot of room in this thing. It's kind of small. However, it was like $124. But you know what? I had a plastic one like this before. It's broke. But I had a plastic one. And it seemed to have more room. It was a dump cart. But I think this will work for the purpose um, that I'm going to use it for. Just for gardening. Maybe some camping. You know, if we want to pull things. If I want to pull things back and forth from the house. To our, you know campsite over there I can I can just pull it it seems to be easy to pull the wheels aren't sticking um yeah I think it's it's good it's a little flimsy but for the price I mean come on you know <laughs> okay guys I'm gonna end the video here I hope you enjoyed watching me try to attempt to put this together um it took a couple hours but remember have all your tools ready know what you're going to do look at the instructions and it shouldn't be that hard my deodorant's working overtime right now it's time for me to call it quits and go in anyway hey before you go i want to shout out my friends at joy blessed life show them some support watch some of their videos i'll leave their link down in the description so that you can just go click it and check them out so as always Thanks for watching. God bless. Have an amazing day.